no power, but as Kevin suggests, there is power out there. Tony, good morning. Good morning, Mr. Howe. How are you doing? I, I, I'm surprised you're on this morning. Why are you surprised? Well, last week I called in over Cal. I figured you got wind I was coming on, and you decided to take the day off. <laughs> uh, you caught on to me, Tony. You caught on to me. Yeah, and then darn, uh, Katie, what are you letting Tony on the air for while I'm here? I mean, didn't I tell you differently? No? Okay. Uh, so what's uh, what's the honor of this call, Mr. Lonis? Well, Rick, you know something? Uh, last night was a terrible storm. Mm. There was a tree that broke. In my yard, it, it fell, and uh, we we're lucky it didn't fall against our mobile home. Mm. It would have caused damage, and maybe you wouldn't be lucky to have me here talking to you today. I feel lucky, uh, Tony. Yeah, I do. <laughs> and, uh, I, I really see the difference in climate change, and I know we have a problem. And, uh, you know, something needs to get done about it. Uh, mm. So I heard you guys talking about raises this morning, and I think... Uh, Retail should get a Christmas gift from everybody. We should uh, have these stores closed on Christmas Eve and New Year's Eve or four. I mean, after all, isn't Christmas about giving and loving and caring about one another instead of about me, 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 me thing? And, uh, you know, our petition has grown, Rick. And uh, I, I know that would happen if I could have a bigger audience, uh, CTV, Global. CBC will not put me on, and I strongly feel because the corporations don't want me on. I think people should be able to hear what I have to say and decide, uh, that guy is cuckoo, or I agree with him. You know, that's why people don't vote anymore, Rick. Well, and, and Tony, you know, I, I know you've, you've been plugging away at this for a, a long time now, and I, you know, I'll give you a, a little uh, tip of the ball cap for, for your determination here. I just think you're... You know, you're, you're kind of pissing in the wind, as they say, Tony. Uh, I really don't think that you're going to get, uh, I mean, most stores close on, on Christmas Eve at, at, at 5 or 6 anyway, do they not? And, I mean, what's an extra hour, I guess? You're suggesting it should close at well, 4? What, so well, what's the difference, well, 4 or 5? Well, Rick, it's, it's a big difference when it takes an hour to get out of the store. I don't really think 4 o'clock is, is uh, not, it, it's reasonable. I mean, majority of people are going home at 12 o'clock. Your mechanic's gone home. Your dentist has gone home. <clears throat> we had a we had to have a plumber at our place today to do a little job. And if we would have got him last night, it would have been an emergency call. Yeah, that would have cost you a whole ton more. But uh, and listen, I got to go into the callers, Tony. And uh, you know, I, I, again, I applaud your your determination to, to to see this thing through. And I'm sure we'll hear from you uh, on many other occasions in, in, in the future. But you know, right now, well, Rick, I, I don't think Rick, there's any support from you, you, government on this. Rick, you can always give me a call, and I did hear from Stephen McNeil, by the way. They have no plans and changing it, and they would let me know, blah, blah, but they didn't give me any good reason because they're all off, and that's not right. Appreciate the call, Tony. Good to hear from you again. Let's go to Elliot next.